Good morning. My name is B. Moorhead. I'm the director of Texas Impact, which is a statewide interfaith organization. We are on the bill at this time. We hope that by the time you all vote on it, we'll be uh, able to switch that to support. Um, we certainly are in support of the concept of expanding care and minimizing disruption for children. Many faith communities have been asking how they can help with the foster care crisis, and many of them do already promote adoption and foster care in their uh, Congregation, so this is just one more opportunity that they would have. We do have a couple of concerns. One of them has been mentioned before. That is uh, the concern that the agency might get sloppy and engage in kind of rolling two-week placements or use this instead of finding more permanent care. A second one that we have that I haven't heard mentioned before is about uh, medical costs for the child. The bill says that they would stay on their same insurance. Our question would be, what if they don't have insurance? Um, one would be something that you brought up, Mr. Chairman, which is um, requiring the family to, I guess, sign on the line that they would keep the kid for the whole 14 days. I just point out that, I mean, things happen. The family could have a crisis as well. So, I mean, somehow you have to, no. I mean... I just. Uh, I mean, I understand some, something, that, uh, something that makes them understand that they're on the hook, but things happen to everyone. And then finally, I would point out that um, recruiting and training is not no cost. It's true. However, you have a very good existing model at HHSC in the Community Partner Program, which has existed for several several years. It was legislation that this committee passed uh, a few years ago. Uh, it does recruit and train faith and community-based organizations already. There is liability protection built into it. They do go through a training process already. Um, and Texas Impact was uh, involved in the establishment of that program, we'd say that's already up and running and there's uh, thousands of faith and community-based organizations already participating, I believe. So you might just look to that as your uh, kind of sourdough starter to get this program going. Again, we are hoping, and I've heard you say repeatedly, there's going to be a stakeholder process. We'd like to be involved in it and we think this is a great idea and want to be able to support this bill. Thank you. Members, any questions? See, that's good testament. Two minutes and 15 seconds. That's really good. <laughs> really good. 